Welcome to my physics class. In our class today, we want to look at uh, Form 3 physics, and the topic is current electricity. Specifically, we want to look at Ohm's law. We would like to state Ohm's law. Then from there, we will obtain a formula, a mathematical formula representing Ohm's law. Then we will apply that formula in working out a given question. The statement for Ohm's law is already on the board and we just we follow it. The potential difference across a current carrying conductor is directly proportional to the amount of current flowing through the conductor provided that temperature and other physical conditions remain constant. Among the other physical conditions, it is um, temperature which is uh, most important, and that's why we have mentioned it here. Then, from here, we realize that this is a case of direct variation. And therefore, we can apply our mathematical know-how in getting a formula, mathematical formula, representing Ohm's law. So here, we are getting that the potential difference, we can say PD, is directly proportional or varies as the current, varies as the current, I, provided that temperature remains constant. We will uh, almost always use V, capital V, in place of the PD. Uh, and therefore, we are going to work that out now mathematically, and let's see what we get. The potential difference varies as the current. In mathematics, when we have direct variation, we know we can replace the proportionality symbol with an equal sign, but when we do that, we introduce a constant. So the same statement can now be written as V equals constant times I. This constant, in this case, has um, a name. It is actually the resistance of the conductor. The resistance of a material is the opposition to the flow of current through that material. In terms of symbols, resistance is represented by capital R. So we write V equals R I. And the standard unit for resistance is the ohm, OHM. So the, the, the law, that is Ohm's law, can be written mathematically as V equals Ri, or like some people like writing it, you can start with I and then R, because it's a product, doesn't matter what we write first. Now, we would like to use this formula now in working out a given example. So let's put the example down and then work it out together. So a current of 3 ampere flows through a conductor of 20 ohm resistance. Current of 3 amperes flows through a conductor of 20 ohm resistance. Calculate the potential difference
across the conductor. A current of 3 amperes flows through a conductor of 20 ohm resistance. Calculate the potential difference across the conductor. So we need to identify what is given. In this case, the current is given, the resistance is given. We need now to apply the formula as we got it. And so we say V equals I R. You said you can write R first or I, uh, or I first, doesn't matter. And then we, is 3 amperes multiplied by 20 ohm you realize instead of writing the whole word ohm i've used the symbol the greek letter omega to represent the ohms and um, the product will give us the potential difference across the conductor and this is going to be 60 uh, volts So the potential difference, like you have seen in the answer there, is measured in uh, volt. So we will stop here. Uh, in the, and in, uh, you need to subscribe so that you can join me in the next lesson as we look at resistor networks.